reagents are important in synthesizing alkenes and they are characterized by a carbon phosphorus bond in which the carbon atom bears minus one formal charge and the phosphorus atom bears plus one formal charge. And a Wittig reagent is also called phosphonium elide. This phosphonium elide is stabilized by resonance. And the minus one charge on carbon makes this reagent highly nucleophilic at the carbon atom. But the major contributor is this structure as this reflects the true reactivity of the Wittig reagent. So when Wittig reagent reacts with ketone and aldehyde, it converts them into alkene by forming a new carbon-carbon double bond. And this reaction is called the Wittig reaction. So the carbon-oxygen double bond of a ketone or aldehyde is converted into a carbon-carbon double bond. The mechanism begins with the nucleophilic addition. In the first step, the highly nucleophilic carbon atom of the Wittig reagent attacks the electrophilic carbonyl carbon atom and this bond shifts to the oxygen. As a result of this nucleophilic addition, a betaine is formed. Second step is a coordination step in which a bond is formed between the negatively charged oxygen atom and positively charged phosphorus atom. This results in a four-membered ring intermediate which is called oxaphosphatane. For many Wittig reactions, this oxaphosphatane forms in one step rather than two. Then the step would be called cycloaddition. So which mechanism occurs? It depends on a number of variables including the solvent and the structure of the Wittig reagent. In third step, this oxaphosphatin undergoes fragmentation due to the strain to give the alkene product and triphenylphosphine oxide. One of the reasons that Wittig reactions are so useful is that Wittig reagents can be generated from common precursors that is the alkyl halides. So when an alkyl halide is treated, first treated with triphenylphosphine and then the product of the reaction is treated with a very strong base such as butyl lithium, then Wittig reagent is formed. First step is SN2 reaction in which the nucleophile is triphenylphosphine and the halide ion is the living group. As we know, primary alkyl halides react more readily than secondary alkyl halides, but tertiary alkyl halides cannot be used. And notice here, the triphenylphosphine is uncharged, although it is a good nucleophile. The reason is the large size of phosphorus and its modest electronegativity. Then the second step which is deprotonation. A very strong base is necessary because deprotonation occurs at a carbon atom. The carbon atom that is deprotonated is the one that was originally bonded to the living group in the alkyl halide precursor. So that's all about the Wittig reaction.